What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to queue up your record, a few different ways actually. Now, the definition of queuing is basically just finding the starting place in your song. So that could be at the beginning of the song, or if you wanted to start your song later, you could start it in the middle and queue it up to the middle. And it also refers to listening to your songs in your headphones and getting ready to bring them out on the dance floor. So you're beat matching them in your headphones and stuff. So you're cueing them in your headphones. So when you cue up a record in your headphones, you're finding the starting place of the record and you're listening to it in your headphones. But you can also do it without your headphones. So the first way I'm gonna show you is just finding the very beginning of the track and at the very beginning of the record. So here, there is a big black space right here on the record. And that means that there's no audio. So if I put my needle down, you're not gonna hear any sound, any music. So I'm gonna wanna forward it until I hear a sound. And there's the first sound. Okay, so by finding that part, I'm queuing up the beginning of this track, okay? Now you'll also notice that there are black lines throughout the record. And these black lines mean there's no sound in those areas. The darker the area, the less amount of sound there is. The lighter the area, the more amount of sound there is. So I can tell where each track starts just by looking at the record and seeing the black lines. So say I want to try to start it at the beginning of this song, at the end on this track, sort of further down the record, I just sort of place it kind of near that black line. And I listen, and that's the song before it, so I'm gonna forward it. Okay, so now there's no sound, no music, right? So now I'm gonna forward it until I hear that first beat, which is right there. Now, if you wanted to do it later in the song, it just would be wherever you wanna start it. So it's the same kind of principle. Say I wanna start it here. Now, these are actual vinyl records, right, with music on them. However, you can also do this, of course, with control vinyl. So whether you're using DJ software like Serato or Tractor Scratch Pro or something like that, you know, you have your control records. Now, they're a little bit different than actual records. They look the same, they feel the same, but when you look at the grooves, there are little black lines signifying a minute. It's a minute long for each, uh, little section here until there is another black line. And then the thicker black lines mean you're five minutes in, right? So this side is 15 minutes because we have three sections of five tracks, so to speak. But the tracks don't really correlate with your songs because you can put your needle anywhere and play the song from your laptop. So I'm just going to stick it into digital mode. And so now if I want to cue up my song, I actually have this in relative mode, so it's skipless. So I could put it anywhere on the record and it would start wherever the song is starting. And we covered this in the Serato DJ course. I'm using Serato right now. Uh, so if you are interested in learning about Serato, definitely check out that course. But if you already use Serato or Tractor or whatever, they all pretty much use, work the same way in terms of cueing. So I'm just gonna put the needle down and there it is. There's the song right there, right? Now I could have it in absolute mode, so let's change it. And now at absolute mode, it's exactly how the song would be if it was pressed on an actual record. So it starts at the very beginning. So it's the same principle as an actual record where I would have to put it at the beginning and then I cue it up and there's the beginning. If I move it further in, it's further in the song, right? Until the song ends, right? There's no more song. But if I put it in relative mode, it's now wherever I put the needle, it's the beginning of the track. Now, Serato has cue points, so does Tractor. Uh, you can either trigger them with shortcuts on your laptop, or if you have a mixer like this, you can trigger them with your mixer. Uh, so I'll just start off with the laptop right here. So now with this track, I have a cue point set up at the very beginning, which means I can trigger it using a shortcut on my laptop or I can use the mixer, like I said before. So I'll just use the shortcut on the laptop for this. So right here, I'm just gonna trigger it and I'm right at the beginning. I can also cue it up with the mixer. 
So there you have it. That's a few different ways to queue up the record. If you want to learn more, check out the next video.